This protocol allows for the neurophysiologic assessment of the lower extremity corticospinal tract post-stroke when gait and balance are of primary interest. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows an increased probability of eliciting a motor evoked potential in a population where many individuals do not show a resting response. This method can be used in any neurological population where investigating the neurophysiology of the corticospinal tract is of interest, especially as it relates to gait and balance. Begin by visually inspecting the signal quality once the electrodes are attached. Then, wrap the shanks with an elastic bandage to minimize any movement of the electrodes and the resultant artifact during testing. Open the data collection software and start a new trial to calibrate the dual top force plate. Click Start and begin an FP0 trial. Collect 3 to 5 seconds of data with no load on the force plate and then click Stop. Once the force plate is calibrated, the participant has been registered to the image guidance system and the SEMG electrodes have been placed and tested for the signal quality, then fit them with a safety harness. Instruct the participant to step onto the force plate and standardize their foot placement with masking tape pre-applied to the force plate to signify the foremost position of the foot and medial edges of the feet equal distances from the midline. Attach the participant's safety harness to the ceiling support. Place a rollator or similar device around the force plate to provide participants with something to steady themselves with during testing if needed. Measure and collect the participants' weight as they stand on the